Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. All Powers just sent me the new R1500 Lite power station to share with all of you guys. Inside the box you get the battery, the manual, and a power plug to plug it into your wall to charge it up if you wanted to. You can also charge it up with solar panels, which is what we're going to do today. The manual here tells me that this thing is a 1056 watt hour battery at 35.2 volts. And 35.2 volts, that's about 30. Did I forget that already? It's about 30 amp hours. For us hams that live in the 12 volt space, this would compare to an 88 amp hour battery. However, you also get all of this really cool stuff on the front here, all these different plugs and USB ports and cigarette lighter socket and solar charge controller and shore power charger. So there's a lot going on in the box besides just the battery to sort of round out that value proposition for you. One of the cool parts about being in Arizona for the winter is we get tons of sun, so I get to play with all kinds of solar panels. This is the SP037. It's a foldable 400 watt solar panel setup, and it has this nice little bag here, which has my cables inside, and we've got standard MC4 connectors and an adapter to get us over to XT60 to charge up the battery. So I'm gonna get this set up and we're gonna charge that battery. I have found that the easiest way to get these guys set up is to leave them folded, put back the one leg, and then start unfolding and setting up legs as you go. This solar panel setup here is about 40 pounds. And then I can come back and make some little adjustments to get the most amount of sun. Where I'm at right now, the sun is gonna track all day that way. So I'm getting my southern exposure in that direction. So over here on the input side, we have this really nice little door. There's your AC wall input and there is your XT60 input. And we're gonna plug in the solar panels. Over here on the front of the machine, it came from the factory at 79% charge and the MPPT and the sun conditions right now are getting me, we were up to 187 there for a second. Now we're at 85 watts input. While we're charging, let me walk you around the front. We've got two USB-A ports. These are good for 18 watts. We've got two USB-C ports. These are good for 100 watts. This thing has a built-in Bluetooth app. Down here, we have four 20 amp AC sockets for 120 volts AC. And then we've got our cigarette lighter plug. This is 12 volts, 10 amps. Get my screen recorder going so I can show you the All Powers app. There we go. And what I wanna do is I wanna connect a Bluetooth device. So I'm gonna hit plus. On the front of the unit, I need to press the DC button for three seconds to on off the Bluetooth. So I'm gonna turn on the DC power output and then I'm gonna long press that button and we've got our Bluetooth mode on. So we've turned it on, next step. We found the APR1500 light, so I tap on that to connect. There we go, 79% remaining discharge time. I'm gonna turn the DC power off, which leaves the Bluetooth on. 86 watts input, zero output, and you can turn on and off the DC from here, and you can turn on and off the AC from here, and you can change over between 50 and 60 hertz if that's something that you need to do. And then I can change the work mode from standard mode to fast mode to mute mode. I'm gonna turn it over to fast mode and see if we can get some fast charging out of this. And I can change the name if I have more than one of these things. I can call it, you know, my RV unit or I can call it my truck camper unit or I can call it whatever unit. And then I can put it into eco mode and set a timer for this thing to shut off from one, two, four, or six hours. And there's even a firmware upgrade option on here. Please contact the equipment manufacturer and enter the upgrade code. And then they'll give you the code to do the upgrade and it'll do it over the wire for you. I always like having all this extra information, especially at my fingertips in my phone, so I can go and figure out what I'm doing without having to walk to wherever my battery is sitting. Because right now my battery is sitting outside of my ham shack and not within eyeball range of where I will be sitting later on while I'm operating. And of course, as I mentioned, these are 400 watt panels and you can see they're kind of pointing in that direction. And right now in the morning, the sun is up there. So we're not getting full sun on these panels. We'll be getting that later on in the afternoon. So you guys always ask about RFI. I am probably about 20 feet away from the solar panel and the power station right now. You can see on the waterfall, we've got a bunch of normal spikes. Let's get out to the power station and see if it gets any worse. And of course, sun reflecting on this is gonna be amazing, but we'll get there. 
Well, there's a little bit of noise there. There's like no good way to see that. So what I will do is I will pause the screen and we'll put it up for y'all to see. Probably the most important thing we need on our camping trips and gatherings of friends is a battery that can do a coffee maker. Let's make some coffee. So let's wake her up. Let's turn on our AC output. Let's grab our wall plug here. All right, we are plugged in. The coffee maker has come to life. It's asking me, it's doing that 12 o'clock flasher thing. So let's uh, power up. And we're gonna make a full pot of coffee here. And let's go. 1550 watts output. Coffee's brewing. So our coffee is all done being made. We went from 99% down to 68% to make that pot of coffee. Totally worth it. Mm, good stuff. A little hot though. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about what you get. What I showed you is the R1500 light and the SP037 solar panel. That comes in at 895 and it makes a portable solar generator. Let's do the R1500 light by itself. That's a more reasonable $449. So let's look at some of the specs here real quick. 1056 watt hours, and then you can do a bunch of math to go from watt hours to 12 volts to 36 volts to whatever, because this is a 36 volt battery pack. It's got LifePo4 batteries inside of it. It is pretty quiet at 35 dB. 15 kilograms. Geez, what's 15 kilograms in real units? 33 pounds. Whew, she's a beast. UPS, it's got a UPS feature. So if you do want to plug some important stuff into this and then use it for the UPS type feature, then you'll get a 15 millisecond, sub 15 millisecond response time to keep all your gadgets up and running. It's got that Wi-Fi Bluetooth app connection that I showed you. It has 4X 220. Well, the one that I got has got 120 volt. Uh, 1600 watt max surge to 1300 watts. I don't have surge to 3200 watts. I don't have a way of testing this out and proving it. I was able to do the coffee maker at 1500 watts, which would also be like a little space heater or something along those lines. But what that means to me is that these are not uh, 20 amp outlets, even though they look like 20 amp outlets, they're only 15 amp outlets. But if you need 20 amps in the field, whoo, you're a uh, you're serious, serious cook in there. Uh, again, I have the 120 volt AC version. So this says 16.8 amps max. So you can probably double that for the 120 volt version to 12 amps max. Solar input, 12 to 95 volts, 13 amps, 650 watts max of solar input. So you can daisy chain a couple of solar panels in here in parallel or serial, 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 parallel or serial. -el. However, you can get them connected together. I plugged in a 400 watt solar panel and charged her up just fine. You can power this off of your 12 volt cigarette lighter socket. You can charge it up if you get a special cable doesn't come with it included and there are some dimensions 16 by 12 by 10 so it's a decent size the USB-C ports it will put out 12 volts at 3 amps that'll run our QRP radios the USB-A port will do 12 volts at one and a half amps but it'll also charge all your cell phones and run all your USB-A type devices. Here's a look at some of the things you can do. I ran that coffee maker. It says 55 times to run a 1,000 watt coffee maker. Mine was 1,500 watts, so not 55 times. But you get a lot of stuff in this little box, and I went over to my friends at Amazon, and I put together what it would be. Don't, don't worry about this price here, because this isn't the total price just yet. So you could get the cigarette lighter plug, to plug into the USB port that is on the 2000 watt inverter. You can actually get that 2000 watt inverter in a couple of different ways, but I wanted to show you the individual cost, 179 plus 129, and the charger is gonna make up the extra part. That's your AC wall charger. And you would need one of those to equal out to the functionality because that's a function that the all powers unit has. And then there's the solar charge controller price on its own and the battery price. This is a 100 amp hour battery. They don't sell 88 amp hour batteries, which is what this maths out to at 12.8 volts. So close enough is close enough. 229 plus the combo deal of 399, which this gets you your AC ports and your USB ports. They're a little hard to see, but there's some there's some USB ports hiding there. There's an A port and a C port. And then if you really need that cigarette lighter socket, we've got that. So 229.99. And we're at $638 just to get the base unit 
price of 449 I didn't include the solar panels because you need to buy the solar panels either way. And so you're you're spending more, you're getting a less pretty package, a less less involved package. You don't have well, I mean the battery's got some Bluetooth in it. I don't know about the sine wave inverter, but I am going to be reviewing the MPPT charge controller and the 2000 watt inverter in a future video. So make sure you're subscribed to see that when it comes out. So about $200 less to get a pretty little package with a nice display and a decent Bluetooth interface for controlling the AC and the DC ports and monitoring your, your statistics and whatnot. So pretty cool deal. And I'm sure they're both going to be RF noisy, either in the inverter or in the charge controller. But we'll find out, like I said, in a future video. So that wraps up my review of the All Powers 1500 Lite portable power station. There are lots of things you can do with these. I try to keep one of these with me every time that I go out on any kind of trip and they come in a variety of different sizes. I've got bigger ones, I've got smaller ones. It depends on what my needs are. And these things are kind of like lifesavers at this point because so much of what we do involves having some kind of power. And having this thing all built in a nice pretty package for you that is supported by a vendor is fantastic. There will be links in the description down below for more information on this unit, as well as some of the other stuff that I showed you in the video along the way, including that coffee maker. I know you want it. And there is a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. I'll see you over there. Thanks for being awesome.